We're back on Doug's car. Uh, got the bike dragged home. Uh, looked at it a little bit more. I'm happy with the, with the buy of it. Um, I, now is what I'm going to do with my brain is I'm going to figure out whether I should just pick up some pieces for it, leave it as it is, um, leave it as it is, or I can spend money on it and time on it to make it more than it is now. But then what I mean by that is I could paint it, you know, I probably could buy some pipes for it. I probably could sell it, maybe something we have around the dooryard here to help me pay for it. But I really want to just go slow on that because in old cars, if you do not take a little bit of time and breathe, um, you can you can get yourself in a lot of trouble, you know? You can get in over, some, over your head where you don't want to get. Um, some, it's better to do, I guess, a little investigating first before um, you jump on something, on something like that. And I'm just learning that, patience. Jolene's teaching me that, patience. 2020 is teaching me that, patience. Um, just that, you know, just hold up a bit and see what happens. Think about it a little bit because in the end it could be uh, more valuable the way it is greasy than it could be if I spent my time and money restored. Um, you might get your just your money back if you restored it. Uh, I think the pipes on that thing would be probably five grand if they landed here. You know, we're so far up, we got to come out to hunt, right? So when we get stuff shipped in, it costs money, obviously. <laughs> Um, this is what I'm doing on Doug's car right now. I've just finished stripping it with the 8 inch 40 grit. I moved up from the DA. I had the, the Porta cable. I had the electric feather edger sand it off. I wanted to speed it up a little bit so I jumped into this and ripped it off quite nicely. Jolene has taped it all off. Uh, we didn't do it so the door is open or anything. We just want to get it taped off so we caused no damage. Um, the door handles we're still going to take out yet. Um, we were going to take them out the other day, just didn't happen. But I'm going to take them out. I see rust around this handle there, rust around that handle there. Also, it'll just be easier to to spray paint. Um, yeah, I stripped the whole thing with that right there. Uh, where you see it like this, this is where I started to polish the metal back up again, and I'm doing that with an 80 grit. So I'm doing exactly what I would have did with. Uh, Body fill, I 40 it, I ripped it all off, and now I take the DA with the 80 grit, and I'm going over the whole car, uh, and that polish, polishes the metal back up to where we want it to look like. Um, the reason that we're doing this car this way is because the bottom is already painted, this is, you know, the bottom is already painted, and then come to realize that the top um, is needs paint also. We've got a different color on the bottom. Where it's pinstriped, where it's pinstriped, I'm thinking there's still black paint underneath that. And there's there's nothing that I can do about that. I'm just gonna move forward the best I can. So what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I've got it sanded down as far as I can. I've got it sanded down as far as I can with the electric tools, you know what I'm saying? I use electric tools just as close as I can to, to this without ripping it off or hitting it. You can see, you can see now, if you look on this, you can see the pinstripe, where the pinstripe is right there on the black. That's how close I've come with that DA along hit without hitting it. And that just comes with practice. It just comes with practice. So now all that stuff that, that I've got down there if you can picture it, so I can use this. I'll show you. Come look right here. I'll just polish this up a little bit. I haven't got a new piece of paper on it, but it should be fine. This is 80 grit. I stripped it off with a 40 on the DA. Now I'm going to polish it back up with an 80 grit. Um, I've heard a couple of people say to use flapper wheels to strip the car. Don't do that. You will, you'll damage your car. You'll just dig up the metal a lot. I know this is scratched, but I can polish it back up.
test what I call polished back off. After I scraped it down like that, I'll get it all polished off like that. Um, and as you can see, when I'm, when I'm using that DA on there, Feather Edger, same thing, I guess. Um, and I call it a DA and a Feather Edger because um, it's dual action, the way it sands. And what it does, it feathers off the paint. That's why I call it a Feather Edger or a DA. But as we get polishing this metal back off, I can't, I can't go any further than that because I, do, I don't want to hit the stainless all the way around. Don't want to do that. So this will have to be sanded by hand. We'll probably even go a little finer grit on that. We'll try to get up into our 220 and then maybe a 400. Probably just a 220 actually because just as soon as I get this all sanded down the best I can all around here, we're going to put it in primer. And uh, we're going to put it in primer and we'll guide coat it. You know what I mean by guide coat spray, a spray bomb on it. And then we will sand it and we will fix all the places that we find. I'm not going to try to fix any places before I prime it because we will find them as soon as we guide coat it. And I like sometimes, I like putting the body filler over top of that um, feather fill. It, it does a nicer job and I will not mind coming in back into spraying it because I won't. It just be easier to find everything. Uh, it's a big old car, we, want to, we don't want to miss anything. So everything's looking pretty good. You can see it come around here. You can see this has been stripped off. All the roof has been stripped off. It's been stripped off the best I can with the eight inch. Uh, down here, when, yeah, you come along there. I didn't dig any filler out of it because there's no, there's no need. I didn't see any rust in it. There was bits of rust climbing in places, but that was okay. That's what I can do. I can only go so far with that. Uh, I can't get down in the gray. I have a hole here to fix. I have fixed. Doug does not want a antenna there and he does not like the mirror there so we'll fix that but right now this is where we're at with the jaguar we got all the paint ripped off i just have to finish polishing it then we're going to 220 all this stuff and try to feather it off better and uh, what what's going to happen on this one on this on this black and on this metal wherever it's around the edges where i'm not going to strip it because i do not want to cause a problem uh, where the stainless is there's no rust going around there. It's just, you know, stripping it off and tearing everything apart and doing a, making a big job out of it. Um, when this is primered, I'm gonna have to be careful when we do this, because you're gonna, all this, all this edge where the paint is, if you do not, if it's not feathered off right, you will see it. You will see it everywhere. It's like um, along the edge of the door, along the top, along the roof. Not so much on an edge like that, no, like if you get that edge buffed off, that's fine. But you start feathering paint back like this. You start feathering paint back and you do, no, do not um, block that out and do a good job feathering it off. You will see it in the paint job. So when we prime this car, we're really going to have to pay attention to run the block along this and see if the, if the paint is feathered off nice with the metal. And that's generally what I mean by... Um, if you have a bunch of dents everywhere, you have more places for a mess up. But we have one right along the whole edge where we're gonna fix. Now we're still gonna run a block along there, try 220 and try to scrub it off and get sanded up the best we can. But we'll still keep an eye on it. So right now, I'm on the DA with the 80 grit. Uh, I got the roof left, the trunk left, the back quarter, Sounds about right. And then we'll be into taking the door handles off. We'll take the door handles off. And then we're gonna start feather edging or start doing the edge of all the black with a 220 and a piece of sandpaper hand sand. We're gonna hand sand this. I'm not gonna try to get up there and strip that. I'm gonna take the door handles out because they need to come off. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna polish this trunk lid back up. And You'll see how it's done. You'll see me angle this, tip this, dig this. You'll see me back forth. The only reason I'm doing it that way is because I want to get the primer. I want to get all that stuff off. I don't want that stuff there anymore. And I'm doing anything I can to get it off as quickly as possible. Paper gets dull, I rip it off. 
Uh, this is not doing um, any body work. I'm polishing metal and I'm not ruining anything by tipping it. If I was on the filler and I start tipping it and pushing it and drive, well, there's a different story, but you know, I can run smooth over the filler and sort of leave some of that there if I want to. But right now I'm digging paint off and that's why I'm gonna use the tool the way it needs to be used. I use them up like candy, or the pads like candy. But you know, if you do not, if I do not use the, the material, I can't get the I can't get the paint off, and that's what they're for. Uh, Jolene did a beautiful job. Quote here, take, help me tape this off. She did all the windows herself. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Wouldn't know what to do without you. Love you, baby. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is, well, I'm digging the primer off is what I'm doing. And that primer sometimes does not want to come off sometimes. Um, I find if you use uh, a stripper, I've used paint stripper before and I like it. I've done it quite a bit. Uh, it still does not affect the primer though. That, does, you know, uh, that paint stripper does not generally get the primer off. And you generally have to sand it off. So that's what I'm doing. I've seen my daughter with, with her boyfriend at Dairy Queen the other night. She just drew up. Hope she makes good decisions. Hello. Hope she makes good decisions. My daughter's growing up. I was going to ask if she needed any money in Dairy Queen. She don't need my money. <laughs> she works. <laughs> what? Yeah, she doing good, eh? Good. Yeah. get to do when you're doing body work, eh? You get to you can think about things, you know what I'm saying? I just thought about my daughter going, yeah, Jerry Queen, that's funny. That was a cool moment. I won't forget that moment. She's all grown up, man. She's all grown up. Stuff like that. I can just polish it off. Just polish it off with the, the DA. Uh, this car is like, from what I'm stripping on the top part, this car is in fantastic shape. Fantastic. Fantastic! Popped it on the car. Go for a little bit more here. Try to get this trunk lid done. 
we'll probably put uh, we'll put two coats of primer on this car. No doubt in my mind, two coats, two good heavy coats, and then we'll have some product to work with. Um, I will have to prime a couple places after I'm done because I'm going to do the body work over top of the primer. So I am going to do the body work over top of the primer. Primer and everything will stick really good, you know, when everything's sanded good, you know. It cracks, it cracks there, yes it is, but when this VA polishes the metal, the, the primer will, the primer will heal really good. So the, so the metal is being prepped really good by being sanded, you know, you know what I'm saying? Getting all the primer off, what I like to do, I don't like seeing it spotted, like I don't like seeing a little bit here and a little bit there and not finish it. I like to polish it off. Some cars don't get this privilege. Some cars you go right into welding and grinding. And, but, you know, we're just doing a repair of old paint. Basically it. You know, the stuff over to dinner or whatever it was, dinner supper, and uh, I learned some more stuff. Jim told us some more things, and I learned some more things. It's funny sometimes what I learned, and uh, it can be anything, but I learned a couple things. I learned a couple things. <laughs> I think we <laughs> I learned a couple things. Sand this in here with 220. Uh, something goes over top of that. And we'll, I don't think we'll get into stripping that. We'll have to feather it off nice though. All of this paint's still gonna come off. That stuff there will come off with the drill and the stripper wheel. If you haven't seen it yet, it's here. On the filler, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna hold my, my VA flat. I'm not gonna try to dig it out because I'm gonna need that product for when it comes time to fix it. Even though if you strip a car with like a, a, a stripper, if you take the paint off of the stripper, a liquid stripper, you still have to sand the car. You still have to sand the car. trunk lid got stripped and I wasn't opening any can of worms and what I mean by a can of worms is pinholes and then I would have been into piecing it and put pieces in it but we're not there it's done well happy for the car
piece on the car, let's go around, polish the roof, let's polish that, polish the quarter panel, polish it all. Polisher. Uh, we were at a place, we are at a place today. Um, we might have found Doug some hubcaps for the truck, for the Hudson truck. We might have found some. And if, yeah, we're going to go there. We'll film there, won't we? Mm -hmm. We'll film there, and uh, maybe we get Doug to go with us. And he can pay the man. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. Doug's been buying us dinner for the last week. Looks good on you, Doug. Thanks, man. Thank you. So you can see how long, you know, how long it takes to, to get a car stripped down. I mean, also, when you strip a car down, you want to be very careful around all your stainless stuff. I know I'm close, but I've done it a long time. When, the, when, the come, when, you, when you turn the camera off, I might put a mask on, maybe. Uh, but I'd rather do the video this way so I can talk. Um, it's so... Yeah, I guess, I guess the good thing about a mask, you know, the brush your teeth. <laughs> okay. We and Joanie brush our teeth every night together. Every night, don't we, baby? Mm -hmm. Every night we brush our teeth together. That's when the games come out. I'm almost there, man. Stick with me, I'll get those trunk lid done. We'll see what it looks like. First it was done with a 40, now we're going to do it with an 80. All the little tiny rough things, we're getting them, you know, get them all. stuff up like that if I didn't need to, you know. Getting the paint off is the, is the object of the game, getting the paint off. That's what I'm going for, get the paint off, man. Get the paint off. Basically right now I'm trying to get all the primer off.
also when you're sanding the car down, it's a good time to check it out for dents. Like any paint that's left on in areas or primer that's left on in areas, you know, there's something going on, if you know what I'm saying. Like there's something going on. Something going on, man. Now you think about it, I said, I said before when I first started this, if you were to strip and paint, and I said a thousand dollars a panel, I know that sounds like a lot, but you take a fender off, strip it, repair it, prime it, paint it, material, ask yourself, how long would it take you, how long would it take you, and how much money an hour are you charging? Are you charging $5 an hour? Are you charging $20 an hour? Are you charging $75? Yeah. Nice up today, very nice up today, very nice up today. Not quite into blowing it off, blowing it off puts it all in the air, you know. I'd, I'd rather just wipe it off. So that's basically what we got going on for the trunk and I'm very happy that you can understand why those are there. People, that's where you probably closed it with their palm, you know, and put a dent in it. Down the bottoms are nice. In here we'll 220 it. This year we're gonna strip with the, uh, the drill and the stripper wheel. Where's that big boy? Right here. We'll do this. Yeah, so the, the Zed's on my brain, and I think about it, and I try to figure out what the best way to go with it is. You know, sometimes, I guess, 
If you don't know it by now, if you're into old cars and you're buying an old car that needs work, you're buying it to spend more money. <laughs> it's hard to believe, I know that, I know that, but that's what you're buying for, to spend more money. today. Um, she's got her job to do now. She's got to go down there and try to get it posted and get everything all set up and whatever, which takes time. Um, yeah, we appreciate you spending time with us. Like, share, comment, ring your bell. I won't sing it anymore. Uh, everything's going great here. Uh, it's just a matter of getting it done. Me and Jolene get running around once in a while, you know what I'm saying? If you start running around and, and um, not working, sometimes you get behind, you know what I'm saying? So today, i am got to get that roof done, got to get the roof done, and got to get them quarters, each quarters finished up. Then I might have a, a drinking water. No, I'm not going to drink beer. I don't know why. Uh, that's what we'll do. And uh, yeah, it's going good. But just on that part, right on this part right here, I'm gonna to have to sand it. I'm gonna to have to be careful when we prime it. Not careful when I prime, just prime it. And take notice to be aware of where all the paint is feathered on that edge when we block the primer. We wanna make sure that we lose that feathered edge. That's what we have to make sure. And all the way around, we wanna lose it. And the way, only way that we'll get that is with a guide coat. Is with a guide coat. There's still some more sanding to do. To do. Um, we're going to have to tape the car off again. This is just, we're not even got the doors on. We don't want the dust inside. Um, we don't want anything. We just want to get the paint off and uh, get it feathered out. We've got a couple more days to do what we have to do because I'll do it in front of you and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, that's where we're at today. I'm going to finish sanding the roof off, finish sanding the quarters. Um, I'm going to stay home and me and Jolene are going to hang out. Love you, sweetheart. Love you too.